Hi, it's Johnson from Equipmart, your online retailer for pressure washers, cleaning equipment, parts and accessories. Uh, in front of us today we have uh, the new Kyob Cyclone uh, that's really been making waves in the industry. Um, it obviously gives you a lot more airflow, uh, bigger inlet um, and cyclonically uh, drives the air uh, into the machine, stops any major blockages going into the machine as well because the actual orifice is so much bigger. Um, this is the standard uh, KV80, we also do this in a uh, 100 litre, this KV100 unit as well. And you'll notice the difference, this has got a front entry uh, and the Cyclone has the new side entry. So we've been asked by quite a few of our customers if it's possible to convert um, the front entry to a side entry. And now we have a kit that will do that for you. So if you don't, you're not quite ready to upgrade uh, to a Cyclone as yet, um, I've got a kit today that I'm going to fit uh, onto a tank and I'll show you how to upgrade your KV80 uh, to a side entry unit to give you more airflow and more power. So today I'm going to explain uh, how to change the uh, front entry on the KV80, KV100 uh, to a side entry and this is the kit uh, that you can see on our website. So what you get is the, the side entry unit um, there's a curvature on there which obviously matches uh, the curvature on the drum. So this unit here will replace the front, front entry uh, side inlet here. Um, there's also a set of cuffs that come with it. You can see that uh, in the bag there. And those cuffs go on the end of the hose. Uh, again, this all comes as part of the kit. And this is a, a steel wired hose. Uh, it's very, very uh, solid. Uh, you can even stand on, in fact, you can stand on top of it and uh, it doesn't crush. Um, so that's a 51mm hose and that cuff just screws onto there. Uh, and on the other end of the hose, it does come with a 51mm uh, outlet cuff and that will just push uh, straight onto your, to your pole systems as well. Uh, so any 51mm standard uh, poles will just slide straight onto there without the need for any reducers at all. So I'll show you now uh, how you actually connect um, the side entry um, unit uh, and replace the front entry uh, inlet. So I'm going to uh, remove the head uh, and the filters uh, and show you the, how you remove the uh, front inlet uh, coupling. So two clips on the side as normal. Take the head off. And then remove the dry filter with the ring on. Now inside the unit here, at the back of the unit, uh, there's four screws, they're just Phillips screws. All you literally need to do is unscrew those four screws and that head will be uh, removed completely. Now I've always actually wanted to say this but in true uh, Blue Peter style I've actually prepared one earlier. So I'll bring it towards you so you can see. So, you can see that I've, all I've done is I've basically placed the, the gasket over the original hole there um, once we've removed the inlet um, and literally just get a, a black marker pen and just mark around uh, the gasket inlet there um, and mark the, the six holes um, that you need to drill through as well. So literally uh, mark it with a black marker pen, remove the gasket, drill the six holes and then uh, just cut out around the shape uh, of where the side entry is going to go. So what I'll do now is I'll actually uh, fit the side entry inlet just with the uh, screws, nuts and bolts, etc. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the, the face of the inlet uh, to match the gasket. I'm gonna put it up there. And I'm gonna put the bottom ones in first because that'll hold it in place. Um, just take the weight, there's one on. One on there, just put a washer and a nut on the back. And just put that on finger tight. And I'll just put the top one in as well, just to hold it in place.
So all that remains to be done is put the cuff on the new hose. Uh, this is the steel wired hose. So you put the little uh, sleeve on first with the clips on. Um, and then screw up um, the, the coupling onto the hose. It's an opposite thread. So you've got to go anti-clockwise uh, to screw it on. And you should feel it stop. There you go, it's just stopped. And then the actual sleeve uh, just pushes over that, That'll just slide over. Um, and then that just wants clicking on. Just a couple of holes, it's just going to nip into. There we go, that's in now, and that's now on. And that is basically then just screw directly onto um, the side inlet. So that's how you uh, adapt a front entry to a side entry, uh, Kion KV80 or KV100.